Okay. You can okay, SEO question for trainer tool because I really want to I really want to know this are tags still relevant on YouTube videos Like are they ever important because I Based on what six different people have said based on what other people have said I don't know which who to trust I don't know if they're relevant if they're not relevant if descriptions are more relevant than 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 titles and all that There we go Just let me know <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Matthew Egan. Online, I go by Trainer Toll. If this is your first time joining us, do hit that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell so you never miss any of my SEO tips, keywords, tags. Is that tag box important? Is the keyword tag important in Google, in YouTube? Doesn't matter. I have a strong opinion about this. Let's dive into it. Tags in videos are important, but what are tags? Before we dive into whether or not you should use them and how to use them, what is a tag? What is it for? A tag is a keyword on a video. So if somebody's typing in, in the case of this video that we're gonna use as the example, the stagger effect part one in Final Fantasy VII Remake, this quest was a pain in the butt. As I was playing through the game, the reason I chose this topic is because I had a frustration with it. I knew that if I was frustrated, the odds were good that other gamers were going to be frustrated with it as well. And currently it's sitting at 27,000 views. Jumping to the back end for this video, the title tag, how to complete the stagger effect part one in Final Fantasy VII Remake. That is already, what are we at character count wise? That's 71 characters. That's a very long title tag, right? 60, 70 is kind of where I would recommend you live uh, longer than 70. Even, even at 71, it, it's a bit long. Um, you can see these recommendations that are popping up here, FF7 Remake, uh, Chadley, FF7 Remake Walkthrough, FF7 Final Fantasy VII Remake. You can see with the VII versus seven, all of these are different iterations on possible keywords. So where the tags functionality comes in, where the ability to put additional keywords comes in, is it lets you say the phrase in every possible way. Is it worth the time? In my opinion, absolutely. Because you're casting a wide net, but sometimes there's multiple ways to say the same thing, right? And so who is the quest giver of this quest? In this instance, it's Chadley. What type of quest is it? It's a battle Intel quest. So when you scroll down here to the tags, you can see this is this these recommended tags that come in through vidIQ. I've already picked the best one. I'm using 352 of my 500 characters. Always try to use as many tags as make sense. Don't tag your videos things that they don't apply to, right? Um, there is Final Fantasy VII gameplay in here. This is a walkthrough of a quest. But if you look at some of these other recommendations, you know, part one, um, I mean, it's part one of a quest. Uh, review, not a review, right? So if somebody's searching for review, they're gonna click on your video, they're gonna see it's not a review, they're gonna leave right away, or you're gonna show up in their impressions and no one's gonna click on your video and YouTube will think, okay, well, that, that one's not very important. So try to actually use tags that are relevant. You can see I'm ranking number one for the stagger effect part one, that dark blue is what you're ranking for. Stagger effect, ranking number one. Chadley, Chadley again, the quest giver, ranking number one for that. There's no room to put Chadley a very important keyword within the spectrum of talking about the battle intel quest from Chadley called the stagger effect part one that awards the first strike materia, right? So we've got all these keywords that are within the radius of relevancy of that topic, but where are we gonna put them if we can't put them in the title and in the description? You don't wanna be in a situation where there's a ton of bloat. So that's where that keyword tag comes in, where we wanna make sure that we're saying things in uh, all the different semantic ways to say them. And then what, one of the things I really love about vidIQ is that it recommends, hey, you probably should include this keyword in your title as well. So one of the keywords it really recommends, uh, I have a weight class of seven. Um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty relevant for Chadley because I ranked number one for it already. Putting that in the title tag would be, would be good. Um, there's just no room, right? So when I come down to the description, the stagger effect part one, that's my primary keyword. So I put that as the very first thing in the description so that I'm repeating that keyword again. The Stagger Effect Part 1 is an obnoxious battle intel quest, right? So this is another keyword that I'm including in my description. Quest from Chadley, again, another keyword that I'm including. Uh, but that's how you unlock the first strike materia, right? First strike materia is the reward. How do I get the first strike materia? If somebody's Googling that in, you know, you wanna be able to show up for the reward as well as for their quest. But again, there's only so many characters in that title. So we're trying to repeat these keywords as much as we can in Final Fantasy VII Remake. And you see in this instance, 
I did Final Fantasy VII, right? Where in the title tag, I did Final Fantasy VII with the uh, the number seven versus the, the Roman numerals because different people from different uh, age groups will type in Final Fantasy VII differently. So uh, you want to always look at the tools to see, okay, uh, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII, and it'll show you kind of the the keyword score, which which of those instances is better. You could have put FF7 Remake. That might have been a compromise that I used to save some characters because then from Final Fantasy, I dropped down to just FF in the title. I could have saved some characters. You could make the argument that putting FF7 Remake and having it then say Chadley in the title tag, that might have actually been a better title tag because it would have been very clear with those supporting keywords, right? We're trying to rank for the stagger effect part one, but then we also want to rank for quest from Chadley, all of that type of stuff. That might have been a decent, because it has a pretty good score, that might have been a way that we could have gone that would have given us, uh, you know, a a little bit more juice. You're never going to feel 100% because you always have to make a judgment call of between these keywords, which one do I want to put as my primary keyword, right? So, we, we pop up to, you know, just completing this. Uh, they ask you to use unique attacks. So unique attacks is another keyword because that is a requirement of the quest. If we go back to the clip from Duty, use unique abilities on staggered enemies and charge the ATB gauge 10 times, right? That's the actual. So somebody might put how to use unique abilities. What are unique abilities? Staggered enemies charge. How do I charge the ATB gauge for the stagger effect part one? Right, people might might hop around, and so the idea is to kind of get in the head of somebody that is doing a search. They're having the same problem you had. I always recommend this: scratch your own itch, answer questions that you yourself have had, so that you know that you're answering them in the ways that somebody is going to be searching for them. In the event of creating game guides, you have to be first. Don't come out tomorrow with a game guide for WoW Classic. You know, that's been out a while now. Like, all of the questions have been answered. YouTubers have done it to death. When you're doing game guides, if if you have, like, no YouTube audience and you want to capitalize on SEO alone, get in there right when the game comes out, answer the questions, check Reddit, check uh, game facts, look for places where people are asking questions. If you can't think of questions yourself, look at the questions that are being asked the most. Google that video. Is it on YouTube already? If it's on YouTube already, maybe move on to something else because you don't want to be in a situation where there's already six videos answering that question. You're going to be number seven. You're not going to be number one. You're not going to get anywhere near the lion's share of the traffic. To summarize here and to answer Sam's question, yes. I believe that tags are important. Even if tags weren't important, going through the exercise of figuring out what the keywords are for your video is hugely important So why not put them in the title tag? It's one of those, what do you have to lose type of situations. You're already gonna need to do that research to figure out what the supporting keywords are that need to live in your description to see maybe you can fit two keywords into your title tag. You already have to do that work. So even if there's no value in title tags, I don't personally believe that there is no value, but even if there was, you might as well put them in there because you're going through the steps of figuring out what they are anyway, right? If you found this video helpful, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss any of my SEO tips. And we do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you, Sam, for being here. Thank you for that question. That was fantastic. I'll see you guys next time.